drone enthusiasts and of course as always a shout out to my friends at the Drone Seekers. This is Marcus Crawford with the Idaho Quadcopter Channel. Uh, I'm out with the uh, uh, Femi X8 SE again today. Uh, this will be my first attempt to fly it uh, after uh, we had that propeller disintegrate and have it had a crash. Uh, as you can see it's kind of windy out today. They're saying up to 15 mile an hour gusts and I'm telling you it's all of that. Uh, it was a little bit more there was a little bit more wind yesterday and I didn't fly and so I really want to get it up uh, in the air so we're going to try it today uh, in this wind and it shouldn't be uh, such it, you know it should be able to handle it I, uh, it's, that shouldn't be that much that the drone uh, can't cope with it uh, but we're going to find out I guess so so without further ado I'm going to fire up the drone here so the drone is firing up uh, you saw my video uh, yesterday where we went through and did all the calibrations again. Uh, the only thing that I am going to do here uh, is uh, 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 calibrate the compass. Uh, give that another shot here. So let's see if we get connected here and see if it gets fired up. Yep, it's telling me already gimbal not ready. It's looking for satellites. Yeah, there we have a picture on the drone. So. Uh, let's uh, yeah system preheating so it's it's heating up the IMU is what it's doing there let's give it a chance to get some more uh, GPS system is preparing that's all good stuff so like we did yesterday we're gonna tap in the middle here and it's gonna tell us uh, it's telling us that the compass is normal and it's and, and that it's good but uh, because I moved the drone around, uh, I'm going to I'm going to do a compass calibration uh, just to double check and make sure. Compass calibration right there. We're going to click calibrate and start. So I'm going to do the old dizzy mode here. easier to do when you're, I'm holding the controller at the same time. Now with the drone facing up. And calibration succeeded. So I'm a little dizzy but other than that looks like we're good to go. So uh, it looks like we're good to go here system is preparing yeah I'm sure the uh, gimbal has to reorient itself yeah you can see that the gimbal is a little bit off uh, and that's uh, that's from tipping it up so it will right itself so uh, gosh says ready to go GPS I see no reason uh, why we can't take off so uh, yeah you can see the drone on the screen let's uh, let's do an auto takeoff uh, I think I did it on the screen the other day. Let's hit the button here. Yeah, so uh, it's a little bit, uh, I'm gonna run it. So it's getting blown around a little bit here. I'm gonna move it out away from the, we were kind of close to this uh, picnic shelter. Uh, so, yeah, there goes my hat. Let's bring it down a little bit, but I'm going to move it out just for safety. I'm going to move it away from this picnic shelter. Let's yawn around. Oh, I didn't start recording. We'll do that now. So, uh, it was sinking there. I am not touching the controls right now. Let me straighten it out. Okay, I'm going to show you my hands are off the controls. And you see it's rising. You know, I'm going to be honest with you. Yeah, you can see it moving around there. And, and like I said, we got a pretty good wind. I'm going to guess this wind is all of uh, 10 or 12 miles an hour. And you see it moving around. So that's pretty darn similar to what we saw with the Hubson Zeno. The Zeno would be steady, 
Uh, but in a wind like this, it would be moving around, and that's kind of what we're seeing here. Uh, but uh, doesn't mean you can't fly the drone. And uh, uh, you know, looks like uh, we should uh, we should be able to have a successful flight. So I'm going to just uh, I'm going to get a little bit of altitude. Yeah, so it's sinking now by itself. So I'm picking it up. We're going to go up about 20 meters. Yeah, there's 19. Yeah, there's 20, a little more. Yeah. So, it, you know, it kind of moved out. So I dropped it back down a little bit. So we're right around 20 meters. Uh, so let's, uh, let's, let's do a quick yaw around so you can... Uh, Kind of evaluate the uh, the gimbal on a yaw. See if we see any jutter or anything. And by the way, uh, I see I uh, am not complying with the rule of thirds. Uh, I should actually have the gimbal down a little bit. Seems like it kind of speeded up there by itself. Anyway, okay, so I'm going to drop the gimbal down just a tad. There we go. And you know we have a little bit uh, of uh, the horizon is just uh, well it's kind of straightening out but it is a little bit crooked but but I, I'm going to give it the benefit of the doubt in this wind so you can see the tractor out there he's doing a little uh, air rating it looks like so we're going to stay well clear of him and do a little flying. These are, uh, what you're looking at is, this is kind of a youth uh, soccer field, and so, uh, you know, i got to be honest with you, I've never been out here when I've seen them playing soccer, but I know that they do. So we're going to do a turn here. That's a little bit sensitive. I'm, I'm sure it's adjustable. I'm kind of barely moving that uh, left stick to yaw to the uh, right. But there again, you can see we have a little bit of a crooked, a uh, little bit of a crooked horizon, uh, and I, I'm like I said, I'm going to give the drone a, the benefit of the doubt in the in the wind that we got going here. So the tractor is coming back across, so I am going to get on the other side of the field from him. turn here and there we are we're by that picnic shelter there one thing I noticed about the I'm looking at the map view in the corner it's uh, looks like I need to kind of uh, spread that out because it's moving uh, quite a bit let's uh, I'm full stick forward now, uh, heading out towards the uh, the corner here. Horizontal speed, 13.4. Well, that's pretty quick. Man, that's that's awesome, man. I like that. So I let go of the stick there, came to a stop pretty quick. So there again, the uh, the guy in the tractor is on the other side of the field. So I'm trying to stay on the opposite end of wherever he is. So let's come back and, and you can see the picnic shelter there and again I'm a little concerned because we do have that uh, little bit of a crooked horizon. I don't, I don't like that. So we're going to go full stick forward here. Man this baby's quick man look at that. Wow look at how fast we covered that territory. This is a this is a fast drone. I like that. That's awesome. Okay, we're gonna come down. The uh, 
uh, the wind is kind of let up here a little bit so I'm gonna turn it yeah, I'm gonna yaw around here where we can get the horizon again and let's see yeah we we definitely get we definitely have a crooked horizon and that's that's not good and the wind has died down so I can't use the wind as an excuse now so uh, yeah don't know what that's all about uh, but I but that's a problem okay let's uh, let's drop her down here and bring her in okay uh, let's let's try some intelligent flight modes let's start with some simple stuff well in fact you know what before we do that I'm gonna back it up you know I should have done this earlier and this is uh, something you should all always do and that's uh, test return to home so I'm gonna back it up And I think uh, we should be far enough away. Wow, I watched the drone duck there when it hit on the brakes. That was pretty cool to see. Uh, you probably didn't get that on camera, but yeah, it really uh, it really moves around. This thing's this thing is sporty, man. I like that. Okay, we're gonna hit return to home, and uh, and uh, yeah, so yeah, so it's telling me uh, the return to home altitude. That's right where we set it, so it should ascend. We'll see it ascend here. And it is, and we've got 70% battery. Uh, I am gonna be on the lookout here because we are really close to this picnic shelter. So if it's too far off, I'll, I'll cancel that return to home. And, and I, I like that, I look, I'm looking on the screen here, it's got an X there to cancel if you want to. So it looks like it's slowly, let's move the, let's move the gimbal down. Let's see, I think I can do that with the five-way switch. No, that's map. Yeah, let's let's go back here. Yeah, so I, I had to push down on the five-way switch. So uh, so it's starting to come down. It says landing pad not detected, but uh, I assure you, I'm looking at it. The landing pad is right there. It, I think it's because it's uh, on the concrete and it's you know it's really bright sun. So let's see as it gets closer. Now we got some wind, and I just lost my hat again, but and it's moving around. Well, we might get it. Yeah. I'm gonna cancel here, guys. Well, I tried to cancel. Well, I didn't. I didn't cancel in time, but no harm done. Uh, let's see. Can you see it in the? Yeah, you can see it in the grass there. So, uh, yeah, it didn't hurt anything. So we'll, let's. Uh, so as you can see, we got a gust of wind just as it was coming down there. So I'm going to give it a, the benefit of the doubt. But you can see uh, how close the uh, gimbal is to the ground there. And we got a little error because it was in the grass. But let's uh, let's uh, let's start over here. And I am going to uh, click down again. Yeah, that picked up the gimbal. That's pretty cool. So down on the five-way switch pick the gimbal back up let me grab my hat okay so we're gonna take off again uh, let's uh, let's do another auto takeoff says it'll go up to four meters there again it's uh, it is, but it's getting blown around a little bit, so I'm not going to mess around. I'm going to move it forward. We're, we're pretty close to the roof on this picnic shelter, uh, and I'm not going to say that it was going to hit it, but why take the chance, right? And now you see the drone dr dropping there. There again, that was without any uh, me touching that stick, so that's me now. So it's kind of windy again. Let's just watch it hover here for a second. Get the camera up. 
Yeah, hopefully you can see that on the camera. So I'm going to drop it down just a little. Maybe bring it in some. I don't want to get it any closer than that because I'm kind of under the uh, under the picnic shelter here. But that's just, you can see, we're getting a pretty good breeze going now. And you can see it moving around a little bit. Yeah, there it's going up. I was going to say it was acceptable, but then it... Uh, then it rose a couple of feet there, so so that's definitely uh, that's definitely uh, you know, like I said, that's something that we've seen uh, in the past with the uh, with the Hudson Zeno. So yeah, now it's sinking. All of that, all of that's without me touching the controls at all. So anyway, enough of that. Let's go into intelligent flight mode. Let's see if we can find. Uh, something fun to do here. We still got 59% battery. Oh, I didn't start recording. Let's, let's do that. Uh, that's one of the things that you really get used to on the Peridonathi is it automatically starts recording for you, which I, I like that feature. So, uh, let's see. This is the first time I've seen this stuff uh, lit up here. So, uh, Heck, let's, uh, let's, let's back it off and get some altitude. And I'm watching it. As I backed off there, I watched it lose altitude. So I'm, I'm grabbing some altitude here. And uh, let's get enough that we know we're above everything. I'm going to hit spiral. And it says set a central point in the radius and then and it will fly around that central point so i believe that means i need to fly to it so so let's uh let's move forward and we're going to put it above us so and it looks like an oh then you okay so i set the center so then you need to set the radius now. Okay, I got you. Let's not get too carried away. About 34 meters, clockwise, auto return, let's hit go. Oh, it says I need to fly away. Looks like I need to fly away from the center point. So we're gonna, I, guys. I, I think. So we're gonna pick the camera back up. And we're gonna try this again. Go. Oh, there it goes. Okay. It seemed like it took it a second to respond. So, so what you do there is you, uh, you you fly to the center, then you fly back out, and then it starts. Now, I'm not sure what that what that radius that I set there. I don't know if that's how far it's going to fly or. Uh, Have to look into that more, but it seems to be working. And I'm watching the drone uh, fly around. Pretty good battery life here, so it completed the mission. So that's good. Let's uh, let's bring it down and. Well, you were—that was me uh, messing with the yaw there, guys. That's one of the things that I struggle with uh, in in when I fly a drone is when I am uh, even moving forward and backwards and uh, and and uh, going up and down, and that's to not do an inadvertent yaw or turn.
I know a lot of people are proponents of, uh, so we're going to stop right there, go back into uh, flight modes, and uh, yeah, let's let's try Smart Track. I'm going to move out here so I can get a clear shot of it. So I'm I'm low enough here. We're, we're back on uh, audio on the iPhone. So so I'm low enough here that I uh, I don't want to get too close to the building. So what I selected there, evidently, it's just uh, the drone doesn't move. It's just keeping track of me. Oh, so I, I didn't hit go. I'm sorry. I thought I did. The height is too low. Very good. Man, sorry guys, that was a... Yeah, I was trying to... The pitch angle is too high. Okay, there we go. So let's do that. I'm, I'm sorry guys, I'm gonna... I'll edit out that first part. We'll hit record here. So I'm pushing the drone backwards now, and we are below the height of uh, of these uh, soccer uh, gates, so or or goals. So I don't want to uh, run the drone into one of those. But what I was saying before is that you you could, uh, because the drone doesn't have obstacle avoidance, you could back it into something if you wanted to. So, I am walking straight towards that picnic shelter, and the drone is low enough that if I walked it back far enough, the drone would just fly right into it. So, the, the reason I'm telling you that is where you could get caught is on a tree or something. So, I'm going to see if I can uh, just push it back. This is pretty cool. It does, it does a great job of that. Low so. battery. Please land us at to avoid damaging. I, I think normally you'd want to do this at a higher altitude than what I'm doing right now. Anyway, we're going to walk back over. Okay, I'm back by the camera. So I'm going to give it an A plus for that, guys. So let's, uh, let's get out of that. Exit auto flight. So we did that. The drone is just hovering. Uh, low battery, so it's, it's telling me we're down to 26%. So I'm sure it'll auto. I want to check the... Uh, so we're going to... I want to check the uh, horizon again here real quick. I'm going to do a quick yaw around. So the horizon, uh, yeah, it's, it's still off a little bit, guys. I mean, look at that horizon. Yeah, I don't know. But we're not going to mess around. Uh, it's giving us a low battery. I mean, we could test it. I think it, at 20% it does an auto RTH, uh, which we're not very far away. I don't know. I suppose there's no reason we couldn't let it do that. Let's back it off here a little bit. And if it doesn't auto RTH at 20%, I'll, I'll land it. So it looks like the, now the horizon looks like it leveled out a little bit there.
Yeah. Yeah, it's just got just a little bit of a crooked horizon. So I'll calibrate that, uh, that drone again. So we're at 20%. It hasn't got into RTH. I thought it would by now. I'm not going to mess around, guys. At 20%, we're going to hit RTH. So I thought it would hit it at that 20% mark, and it, it, it didn't. So, uh, but, but I don't want to take any chances. So it's coming back to us now. Run the camera down so you can see it. And we'll put it into uh, we'll put it into manual mode if we have to. I had to stop, start the recording on the Canon camera again there, guys. So it's coming down, and boy, at a bad time, all of a sudden we got a bunch of kids around. So it's way off. I'm, gonna, I'm going to uh, cancel Return to Home. And uh, we're gonna we're gonna land it manually. Pick the camera back up here. Yeah, we had some we had some wind. Uh, shoot, I didn't have the camera down so you could see that. God, sorry guys. Uh, so we had some wind right there uh, at the landing. Uh, so I see recording stopped. I don't know if that did it itself or if I did that. But uh, anyway, give me a second here. Let me uh, let me get this stuff uh, uh, shut down, and uh, we'll do a quick conclusion. Well, shoot, it won't hurt the, the drone to, uh, to let it sit there for a second. So let's just, let's just do the conclusion. So, uh, got a nice sunny day with a, with a little bit of wind. So, uh, you can see how the drone handled the wind. It, you know, it moved around somewhat. I'm going to say uh, certainly not as steady as the Paradonafi or uh, Mavic Pro. Uh, maybe somewhat more steady than the Hubson Zeno although I, I gotta be honest with you it kinda reminded me of the Hubson although it didn't do a circular motion but it certainly moved up and down somewhat now this drone has a downward facing optical and downward facing sonic sensor so my hope would have been that it would have been a little more stable there but it, it wasn't like I don't want to overstate it because it wasn't like it was uncontrollable or it would be a big problem for you. Just it wouldn't, as long as you were aware of it, you you certainly could compensate for it. Uh, and we we did uh, you know we did a, a a little kind of a short flight just right around the park here. Uh, as I get more confidence in the drone, we'll fly it out a little further and maybe uh, get a better shot at, uh, uh, at at the video quality. Uh, one of the concerns that I saw was that uh, the uh, the gimbal was you, you didn't quite have a flat horizon with the gimbal. Uh, it is a windy day today. I, I did calibrate the gimbal uh, yesterday, uh, so maybe we'll do that gimbal calibration again and and uh, and give that a shot. Uh, so, you know, I'll, we'll give it the benefit of the doubt there and we'll, we'll see how that goes. Uh, what else can we talk about? Oh, we did a couple of the, the flight modes. You know, 
I, I want you to know that that when, when you guys watch me do that I'm I'm learning as I as I as I go through those modes so I'm sure it's if it's something that it, you got used to it you'd be a lot faster putting it in those modes uh, but boy I'll tell you the thing I do like about it it is a powerful drone man it gets with the program uh, you know that may be colored by the fact that I was have been flying the Anafi lately and and the spark uh, but I'll tell you what it is very satisfying to have a drone uh, that you really get some performance out of you hit that stick and man it's off to the races I mean you, you saw it just cross the park here in seconds uh, so I, I, was, I was very pleased with that part of it so uh, yeah this is a drone with a lot of promise uh, uh, we kept it in the air this time uh, so that's always a positive thing uh, I will add that I, I am in touch with uh, Femi they asked me for some information uh, what they call black box files that are on the drone they showed me how to get into them and sure enough there were black box files so I took those I sent them to Femi I sent them uh, pictures and of course they have a link to the video that I had uh, and then they had a fairly long form that I filled out so uh, you know at the end of the day uh, what, what I'm more interested in than anything is hey it'd be great if they'd send me some props right because I that one was defective uh, but mostly what I want is uh, that they if this will help them improve their quality control and not that nobody will then have a defective prop uh, like like the one that I had so uh, so that's about it uh, anyway I hope you enjoyed this uh, this is Marcus Crawford with the Idaho Quadcopter Channel out. And if you like this kind of content, man, I'd love it if you'd subscribe to my channel. And uh, most of all, I just really appreciate you taking the time to watch the video. Uh, I, I say that every time, but I say it because I really mean it. And uh, yeah, we'll see you on the next one.